This video is sponsored by G2A. Use cashback code DORON for 3% off on Warcraft products. Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies and today I will be giving you top 10 most dangerous zones in World of Warcraft. Covering zones all across the different planets, not just Azeroth. So, without further ado, let's get into the lore. Number 10. Dread Wastes one of the least barren zones on this list, but at the same time one of the most dangerous. The Dread Wastes are the home to the Mantid race, the Old God Servants. A massive wall separates this zone from the rest of Pandaria, and for thousands of years the Mantid would constantly hurl themselves against it. The entire area is filled with Kiperi trees that produce amber, which is the main material that the Mantid use. These Old God Servants built an entire empire here with complex architecture and an entire culture. The release of the Shaofir began corrupting the land itself, which is evident by the death of the trees and the general appearance of the Dread Wastes. A massive forest filled with gigantic intelligent bugs definitely reserves a spot on this list. Number 9. Nazmir One of the three regions in Sandalar, Nazmir is a swamp riddled with ruined and lost monuments, horrific beasts and the blood trolls. Long ago it was a lush forest and the shining heart of the troll civilization. However, when the cataclysm shattered Azeroth, it started sinking into the sea and turned into a swamp. It is most notable for harboring a secret facility of the titans, where they had studied the old gods and unintentionally created Gahun. Initially, the trolls settled with their capital here, but upon learning about the old god creature, they ventured south. Nazmir is home to many dangerous beings within the water, air and the ground. It is also the home to the blood trolls, the servants of the blood god Gahun. While Gahun was defeated, Nazmir still remains as a scary swamp filled with numerous dangerous creatures. Number 8. Plaguelands. Technically two zones, the Eastern and the Western Plaguelands. Originally it was just known as the Northern Regions of Lordran, but today it is still a desolate place. When the Scourge invasion began, Lordran was among the first to fall and quite a lot of atrocities and horrors were committed upon these lands. After the defeat of the Lich King, the Plaguelands became safer, but still many lingering undead remain. Much of the ground was destroyed and it isn't the most hospitable place on Azeroth. The Argent Crusade has been working on restoring the Plaguelands and while there has been limited success, it still really isn't a zone you'd want to venture to. Number 7. Hellfire Peninsula once known as Tanan Jungle, Hellfire Peninsula is one of the most desolated places across the universe. Long ago it was a lush jungle, but after the destruction of Draenor it is a dry, barren wasteland. A completely shattered area that even has small islands floating around in the nether. Aside from the Horde and the Alliance bases, there is barely any life there as it is extremely inhospitable. Most notable for the Dark Portal, the place where the Orcish Horde first got into Azeroth. As Nerzul's magic shattered the planet, it was essentially ground zero for the explosion. Demons are scattered all across the zone as well as corrupted fell orcs. Aside from dry air and the danger, Hellfire Peninsula doesn't hold much for any potential travelers. Number 6. Vashir Quite a lot different than all the other zones, but if you're scared of deep seas, Vashir would be the most dangerous one. Literally an underwater region with a massive naga base. In game it isn't as scary, but imagine going so deep beneath the ocean that there is barely any light there. To top all of this, there are massive kraken, sharks and all sorts of horrific creatures. The worst of all being the actual old god creations, the naga, which have a kingdom down there and want to conquer all of Azeroth. Scary, scary place. Number 5. Zangarmarsh 
Once known as the Zangar Sea, today it is one of the most dangerous swamps in the universe. It was formed from the Zangar encroachment as the fungal swamps released thousands of spores and slowly grew inland over time. The zone we have today was also formed through the destruction of Draenor. This was the place where the Draenei fled after the Orcish invasion of their cities and it sheltered the broken Draenei. The entire area is unlike most of Outland and it contains quite a few life forms, although very dangerous ones. Zangra Marsh is also home to many deadly spores which could lead to death just through sheer inhalation. Ogres, demons, naga, spore bats are all creatures you can find within Zangra Marsh. Overall, quite an eerie place. Number 4. Ice Crown Not much is known of this zone prior to the Scourge formation, although it is said that the capital of the Nerubian Kingdom was located here. Ice Crown was the zone where the Frozen Throne was built as Kill Jaden slammed Ner'zhul into the glacier. The zone itself is one of the scariest places across all of Azeroth massive cold barren wasteland with gigantic spikes and mountains. Just the icy wind alone itself could kill you here, but what makes this scary are the undead. There are so many undead creations here, anything from ghouls to massive skeletons, frost worms and abominations. Even though Artis was defeated, the zone remains much the same and there are still undead roaming around with no signs of life. Number 3. Nether Storm One of the most unique zones across the universe. Originally, it was known as Farallon or the Fields or Plains of Farallon, a lush island east of Gorgond, formed from the body of an ancient spore mount, Botan. However, when Draenor was sundered, it was completely destroyed. Today, it is literally a floating island in the Twisted Nether and is locked in a constant magical storm that is deteriorating the land. The soil assumed a sickly purple color that supports no plant life and the land mass is ripped apart and warped. Various races use it to siphon energy and as it is floating in the Twisting Nether, many horrific beings appear from all across the universe, including void creatures. Aside from the eco-dome that was created, Nether Storm is one of the most inhospitable places in the universe. Number 2 the Broken Shore Hardly a true zone, but on Azeroth it is one of the most desolate places. Originally, it was a portion of Suramar and was known as Taldranat. However, when the Great Sundering happened, much like the other parts of the landmass, it was sent to the bottom of the ocean as it wasn't covered by the Suramar shield. Many years later, when Agewin fought against the Avatar of Sargeras, she arrived there to hide the fallen titan. However, during the second war, Gul'dan would raise the entire island from the bottom of the sea, but was torn to shreds when he entered the tomb. Recently, it was the staging ground for the last Burning Legion invasion and the main focus of the war. The region itself is completely barren and the only thing there are demons, demonic bases and the horde in the alliance and camp. And lastly, number 1, Argus. Not really a single zone, but there is no point in separating it since this entire planet is extremely dangerous. I don't know if it gets any more dangerous than the actual stronghold of the Burning Legion. Argus was once a utopian world inhabited mainly by the Eredar. As they were corrupted by Sargeras, the entire planet was warped, destroyed and the titan's soul within was tortured and used as an engine for the massive legion army. Today, as the burning legion was defeated, it isn't as dangerous but it was literally the main base of the burning legion. A completely barren planet filled with demons, toxic gases, spikes, essentially the opposite of life. Thank you for watching. Check out how powerful are trolls by clicking on the screen and check out the second channel Doron's Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.